The multiple rockets were in fact fired at a base housing the American-led coalition forces stationed at the Baghdad International Airport in Iraq. According to the Interior Ministry, no injuries have ever were reported. A security source giving details of the attack said that the Baghdad airport was attacked with multiple Katyusha rockets, two of which were shot down by the base's special defences. However, the third one fell near the headquarters of the Counterterrorism Service Command. Now, the attack comes as Israeli forces launched the ground invasion and airstrikes on Lebanon, raising fears of a much wider regional conflict amidst the ongoing war that Israel still continues to wage inside the Gaza Strip. Now, ever since the war broke out in the Gaza Strip with Hamas on the 7th of October, militant factions have targeted American bases that are stationed, believe it or not, American bases inside of Iraq and also in Syria that house American troops. Now, Washington has repeatedly responded with bombings on faction headquarters in both countries. In August, rockets were fired at the An al-Assad base in western Iraq, injuring seven Americans, and in September, Washington said that the U.S. diplomatic complex in Baghdad was attacked by an Iran-aligned militia operating in Iraq. But there are about 2,500 troops, American troops in Iraq, and about 900 American troops that are stationed and operating out of Syria. But this is part of a coalition that was established in 2014 to fight the so-called Islamic State group. Britain and France also have a, are part of the coalition as well. However, on Friday, Washington and Baghdad announced that the international coalition will be ending their decade-long military mission in Iraq within a year. But the joint statement and the U.S. officials have not said as to how many American troops would remain in Iraq, even though the Iraqis have very expressly told the Americans that they are no longer welcome there. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.